Good afternoon. We will call to order the June 2018 City of Columbia Planning Commission meeting. We would like to welcome all Planning Commission members, staff, and guests. I would like to ask everyone to turn their cell phones and PDAs to the silent or vibrate mode. The administrator will now proceed with the roll call. Mr. Tupper? Here. Uh, Ms. Hartz? Here. Mr. Waits? Here. Mr. Cohn? Here. Mr. Stigemeyer? Here. Uh, Mr. Frost? Here. We have quorum. Thank you. A brief review of the meeting format. Applicants with requests before the Planning Commission are allotted a presentation time of 10 minutes. This time should include, but is not limited to, an overview of the project, case history, and any pertinent meetings held regarding the request. This time also includes all persons presenting information on behalf of the applicant, such as attorneys, engineers, and architects. This time limit does not include any questions asked by the Planning Commission or staff regarding the requests. Members of the general public are given the opportunity to address their concerns in intervals of two minutes. The administrator has a timer and will make presenters aware of when their time has expired. The Planning Commission reserves the right to amend these procedures on a case-by-case -case basis. The Consent Agenda. The Planning Commission uses the Consent Agenda to approve non-controversial or routine matters by a single motion and vote. Examples of such items include approval of site plans, annexations, and street names. If a member of the Planning Commission or the general public would like to discuss an item on the consent agenda, then that item is removed from the consent agenda and considered during the meeting. The Planning Commission then approves the remaining consent agenda items. The administrator will now read the consent agenda. Your consent agenda this evening consists of the approval of the May 7th, 2018 minutes and uh, items two, three, and four, which are annexations and comprehensive plan map amendments um, and zoning map amendments uh, for 134 Cooper's Nursery Road, which was item number two, item number three, 201 South Marion Street, and item number four, 527 and 531 uh, when Met Drive um, and 0.46 uh, acre portion of 5219 Fairfield Road. Um, those are both, those are all annexations with uh, land comprehensive plan and zoning map amendments. The other items on your consent agenda this evening consist of two site plan reviews. Those are item number five, which is 2458 Waits Road and 1719 through 1729 McFadden Street, as well as uh, 5.13 acres on the southwest corner of Sparkman Drive and the northeast uh, shore crest. Drive. As, um, and then um, item number seven uh, was withdrawn, and item number eight on your agenda was deferred. Thank that you. consists of your consent agenda. Do any commission members or guests today wish to have items on the consent agenda removed and placed on the regular agenda? Okay, I'd now like to ask for a motion to approve the consent agenda. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion. I make a motion that we approve the consent agenda as presented. Second. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? <laughs> motion is approved. We will now proceed with the regular agenda of which there is none. Correct, and I, I got ahead of myself. Number seven was withdrawn and number eight was deferred um, and that would, that's the end of your regular agenda, and we have um, other business left. Um, the other business for this evening is to talk about our comprehensive plan work session schedule. Um, we've gotten our um, consultant uh, RFPs through the procurement process uh, with the city, and so we have those two consultants secured, and city staff has already begun to gather up um, information and documentation and things for our comprehensive plan moving forward and uh, Rick and I had talked and the planning commission for this process is going to serve as the uh, steering committee um, and so uh, we thought what would be best is to actually have a work session before the planning commission meeting rather than having um, you all come in on a different night or a different day or, 
or at lunch or something like that. So uh, in front of you, there's a schedule. Um, Andrea is going to send out meeting notices to you uh, electronically so you can um, accept them through your electronic calendars uh, for these dates. But essentially, we have this outline where um, on certain days, we will uh, meet between 4 and 5. Um, and we've kind of outlined the anticipated topics so you can get those on your calendars uh, for the upcoming, uh, I guess it's all the way, we've, we've planned it all the way out till May, so hopefully we'll, we'll stay on track. Um, we anticipate a website to be up and running in July for the comprehensive plan. It will be a basic site at that point, and we anticipate our first public meeting to be the end of September, 1st of October. Um, so that's sort of a summary of that process. So look for those uh, calendar invites from Andrea in the next couple days. And then Andrea wanted to talk about the continuing ed sessions. Hi, everybody. I know most of you attended one of our sessions already, so you have two hours to go. And those, we do have to do three hours of continuing ed again for the year so that you can remain on the board to be in compliance with state statute. I have a copy I'm going to give each of you before you leave of the list. I did send it out in emails just to make sure because we did have three sessions that were canceled because of the work sessions we have for the um, comp plan. And I just want to make sure that you will have that. The other topics are to be determined, so we'll have some things, but if you can sign up and see which one suits your schedule, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. That was good. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. If there's no other business, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned.